Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode one of Fargo. Brand new season, guys. This episode is called The Law of Vacant Places. I've not researched that title, but I'll leave it to Pulsar77 to give us the juicy details in the comment section. If you guys are not active, you're watching, but you're not active in the comment section, you're really missing out. We've got a couple of people who know this show inside out and some amazing details about it. And they tend to post after each episode to fill in the bit. So if you're if you're not getting into the comment section, I recommend it purely for them. So this is this is tough. I think season two was as near to a perfect season of television as you're gonna get. Certainly as far as I need to get. I don't need anything to be more perfect than that ever. It was it was wonderful. It was funny. It was tender. I cared about everybody. I did get, by the way, thank you for everyone who was talking about palindrome in that last episode and the fact that, that effectively the season was a palindrome of sorts in that people's endings were kind of reflection of their beginnings, particularly, you know, Mike Milligan ends up, um, you know, being told to wear a tie and in a little box with a typewriter having eviscerated typewriter man earlier in the program and just so you know rye and ed with the freezers and it it goes on but i really loved that season of television i really did and i know you guys have prepped me this is going to be very very different so i'm almost treating it like a totally different show i don't know if anything of one and two carries into three but I'm going to find out. What I do know is it's Carrie Coon Day. I also, someone said in the comments that David Thewlis is in this season. I love David Thewlis. He's one of my favourite characters, also British. you got to admit, guys, we export some seriously good actors. Don't we, hey? So... I have, I literally have no expectations. I, all I know about this series is I have seen a thumbnail with Carrie Coon in um in a policewoman outfit with a furry hat. That's literally it. And someone said that David Thewlis is the baddie. Those are literally the only things I'm expecting going into this episode. So without further ado, let's have at it. <laughs> I like this music. Oh, Fargo, you know how to do a shot. Is that Nazi? Are we in Nazi times? Please let it be Nazi times. Oh, East Berlin, 88. I'll take it. That's... That's sit for non-German speakers. And everyone, because it was obvious. Susan Yuri Gorka. Yuri Gurka. Nein. Mein Name ist Gott sei Dank Jakob Ungerleider. Das ist ein Missverständnis. Sie wohnen an der Hufelandstraße 349. Ja, Herr Oberst. Hm. Yuri Gurka ist in der Hufelandstraße 349 als Mieter gemeldet. Wenn das Ihre Adresse ist, dann sind Sie Yuri Gurka. Oh, well, he's the landlord. Ein 20-jähriger Austauschstudent aus der Ukraine. Hey. He's clearly not a 20-year-old emigre from the Ukraine. Ich bin in Schwerin geboren und bin Bürger der Deutschen Demokratischen Republik. Und wie Sie unschwer erkennen können, es ist eine Weile her, dass ich 20 Jahre alt war. Das ist ein Problem. Sie wollen mir damit sagen, dass die Behörde einen Fehler gemacht hat und dass der Staat falsche Informationen hat. Das ist das, was Sie mir erklären wollen. Nein, Herr Oberst. Dann geben Sie also zu, dass Sie Juri Gurka sind und Ihre Freundin Helga Albracht heißt. This is Kafka level shit. Was heute Morgen oder gestern Abend? Das ist ihr Drosseltag. Was? Was? Und hier haben wir nun einen Frauenkörper, der heute Morgen gefunden wurde. Helga Albert. Oh! Ich habe diese Leiche mit meinen eigenen Augen gesehen. Ihr Tod ist eine Tatsache. Was sie hier die ganze Zeit erzählen, ist eine Geschichte. Und wir sind nicht hier, um Geschichten zu erzählen. Oh my god. Wir sind hier, um die Wahrheit zu sagen. Oh, this is a headfucker. Verstanden. 
may pause now that scene explains why it took me three tries to actually read the book catch 22 by joseph heller <sighs> stuff like that stresses me out it's like you've got to file this document in order to have this document but in order to have this document you've got to have that document it's like oh i'm guessing that guy's well and truly fucked play Now there's our Fargo theme again. That's a beautiful rendition of it. I like that a lot. Into the freeze. Trees become real trees. And now we're somewhere cold. Okay. Back in Minnesota. Why were we in Berlin, incidentally? Was that just a thing? I mean, we called the number. They said if there was ever a problem, we should call the number. And well, we called it. In? A series of clicks and buzzers. But we thought... We thought get Buck back in here. After all, he vouched for him. Well, now, it's be it's called a spade a spade. I don't know. Don't vouch for him. It's just a conduit for information. Everything went great when we met with the broker, uh, Mr. Uh, Ermintraub, if I'm not a... Uh... Right, Rick Ermintraub. Mike? I got his card in my... And now, we're in the black again. So Breaking we call up. the number to arrange payback and click some buzzers. The widow Goldfarb, she wants to meet. The who? I was gonna tell you, she's the so-called storage queen. Sniffing around for a possible silent partner type arrangement. Where was she two years ago? I'm not lying when I tell you, I still remember the first date. 25 years ago. Took her to fjords in St. Paul, my Stella. Well, it was worth it. <laughs> Take you a so, quicker. Over shellfish, she says. So. How is you, McGregor? I, I lived in that same apartment for three and a half years. I still had the key. <laughs> what the heck? She'd moved That's in. That's also you, McGregor. <laughs> what is going on? I got your five minutes. I know him from something as well. Oh, nice shot. I think this might be my face for the next 40 odd minutes. Why? Why are they the same person? That was a Corvette. It's a car. Look, I'm getting engaged. Again? Don't say that. I'm sorry. I just... She's real sweet. Nikki, we're in... You know. You meet her at work? <laughs> At work, yeah. I want to buy her a ring. How about you just give me back my stamp? Or we'll call it square. Look, you're lucky I don't sue. I mean, a legal document which delineates things, bequeaths them to specific parties, uh, a father dead on a driveway, an older boy taking advantage of a younger, playing on Nobody his... took advantage. It was a trade. If I had a time machine, you'd see, I'd play back the tape. Emmett, come on, I'm begging you, take the stupid stamps already. Give me the car. No, that's not, th that was you tricking me. Ray, how much did you get for them anyway? The whole collection, I never asked. What, two, three dozen stamps? Vintage? Are you gonna do what's right here? What happened? Did you get it? I need a real drink. He looks like 10 years older than... Same car? <laughs> oh man. 
he, he cuts a pathetic character, I tell you that. Top three mixed pairs, we qualify for the Upper Wisconsin Semi-Professional next month, which top three in that in the sport really opens up for us. Now, hon, you know you're not supposed to leave the state. We get ourselves on the map, bridge-wise locally in the next few months, and I'm talking sponsorship opportunities bordering on six figures. Then we don't need to borrow money from your stupid brother or nobody else. Right? Baby, look at me. We're a team, you and me. Sympathetical to the point of spooky. <laughs> Zach Harry came. It is. Yes. You ready? Uh, yeah. See you tonight, Pops. If macaroni and cheese don't float your boat, might as well stay home. Uh, yes, Lord. I'm so tired of paying these dues. Yes, Lord. What Everybody the fuck? knows I'm only. Oh. Yes, oh, God, it's been way too long to be right. Yeah! Fuck's sake. The land was fallow and we needed grain. The land was what? Fallow is where you leave it for a year so that you can grow shit on it again. Maurice. Huh. You blew your piss test, pal. Oh shit. Hey, dickhead. Mm. I got a place. Turns out a place that needs some robin. A little robin, not wholesale burglary, just a specific, just what looking for fuck? a certain item. And if you do it, well, let's just say your little problem goes up in smoke. Ray! Get the damn step. Who? Herman No. Different fella. Don't want to say too much on the phone. Just you better come down here. Hmm? Everything okay? Gotta go to the office, hon. Hon! You're in your house shoes. Oh. Good call. <laughs> So how many people are going to end up dead in this robbery? That's what I want to know. Where does the President of the United States buy his clothes? You know, do they shut down like a whole J.C. Penny? Just so he can try on a suit? There's a tailor. He comes to the White House. Are you getting high? <coughs> no! Oh, shit. Maurice! the Maurice! Maurice! No! This guy is beyond useless. Ah, screw it. I remember. Oh god. <laughs> I just saw what was on the piece of paper. I have a feeling it's going to be him on the receiving end. That's what I'm saying. I told him it was late, but he just got off a plane, so... It's David Hewless. Uh, Mr. Erman Traub, uh, you, your broker, he... Well, he arranged for your firm to lend us that money last year. And we're happy to say we're ready to pay it back in full. Yeah, well, that's all right. I'm sorry. You keep it. <laughs> keep it? I'm V. M. Varga. And you work for... With Narwhal, yes. Where are you from? America. Investment. Pardon me? 
and he called it a loan. It wasn't a loan, it was an investment. We are investors. Investors? The word begin and the word end. Are these the same? No, but... Then why talk about ending something that's only just begun? You had a problem, as you said, last year. So you try the normal channels, the banks, but your company's still failing, so you come to us. For a loan? You never thought to ask why we might lend you one million dollars with no collateral. But my point is that was the time for questions, yes? And all this. Oh my God, he's terrified. Now we've taken the past year to study your business. Properties, cash flow, so we can better disguise our activities. No! We already have access to your, to your system. So we can monitor your activity. Oh my. It goes without saying, you're not to mention this to anybody. I would go straight to the police. They've got the contract. Oh, but it could be the mafia. Oh, who knows? Shit!